Okay, so if you've got a leak on this DeLonghi machine, um, like this, I'll just explain it. I haven't got the leak anymore because I fixed it. But um, um, when I was pour when I was making a cup of coffee, the coffee was coming out, brown coffee. But then, out here, just to the sides here, there was clear drops of liquid. Water was dripping out of here and out of here and out of here and so on, all around it. Now that, um, I thought that it was a seal up here that was gone, but it wasn't a seal. It's a leak inside the machine. If there's a water leak inside the machine, the water will just basically leak out these gaps regardless of the seal. So that's the issue and I've got a fix for it and that's what this video is and I genuinely hope it helps because, you know, rather rather that, that you fix it yourself, I fix this for about five pounds, rather you do that than, um, than, than send this to landfill and, um, and spend a lot of money on another one. Hope this video helps. And first thing you do is you remove that water tank and there's two screws there, there and there. Simply, first of all, just undo and remove those two screws. Okay, when the screws are removed, you've got to lift this back end up here until that part is clear. And then you've got to pull it in this direction, okay? The whole thing slides the top slides to the right as we're looking at the picture. So what you gotta do is lift it up, wedge a screwdriver in there and pull it backwards, okay? So it'll pop out to the right, okay? I can't do it at the moment because I need to hold the camera, but um, you, you put a screwdriver under there and then pull this casing, the lid, that way and it will come. It's, it's joined here a couple of places, but it slides to the okay, right. Okay, so when it clicks open, so it then comes to the right. So then you, it slides this way, and then it opens up like that. So carefully just lay that over there. Then you can have a good look inside. Okay. I originally thought that the leak was gonna be coming from one of the seals up here. Um, so I opened it up to look inside, and there's some screws down there. And you have to undo those screws in order to get some of the seals out from the bottom. But that wasn't the issue. I saw water, debris, water in this particular cavity here, which was leaking from this joint. Now inside of these joints, there's a little O-ring, um, which seals this pipe into this joint. And that was the issue. And of course, these joints are, are all over this machine. So it's very likely that that's where the leak's coming through and it just leaks through there, drips into there, and then it drips down the side. There's nothing stopping the water coming out. This, you know, the seals don't actually stop the water coming out um, if it's leaking inside. Okay, so in order to fix a leak at one of these joints, it's really amazingly easy. All you do is you get some long nose pliers. There's a, there's a spring clip there and you just gently pull out that clip. I'm not gonna do it now because I fixed this and I don't really wanna open it all up again. But yeah, you pull that clip out, okay? And then pull out the pipe. Now be careful, that might be pressurized and it might have hot water in it. But um, when you pull it out, what happened to mine is it spurted water and there was a little seal in there, a little O-ring, okay. which I'll show you. So it, there's a little O-ring that looks something like this. It's quite tiny. Now the dimensions of the O-ring are as so, are so, they're really, really quite tiny. This is one here. Um, and I got like a pack of 20 of them from Amazon, which cost about five quid delivered. Now the actual um, um, coffee machine spares websites or the DeLonghi websites, they want to charge you about three or four quid per seal. And they're not very easily available. I got them delivered within a day from Amazon like a pack of 10. And these are the dimensions of the ones that I bought. The inner diameter is four millimeters. And then the, and the actual ring itself is two millimeters thick, which gives an outer diameter of eight. So that's the dimensions of the ring that you need to purchase. Um, so I've got some spare now, um, and I can fix any of the joints if they happen to leak. Um, and it's re it really is quite easy. One, one of the difficult bits I found was getting the seal in. So you pull this out, remove the seal, and then put the new, put the new O-ring in the joint, feed it into that hole there. And I found it quite difficult to get in and push it in. So I used like the back end of a, um, of a screw. Make sure the screw is 
is less than eight millimeters diameter and then you can you can literally a small screw you can sort of gently squeeze it and push it in and make sure it's in position then feed in the tube and then put the and put the um split and put the um the clip back in place and that will fix a leak on on those joints assuming that this joint itself isn't cracked um but there you go that's how i fixed the leak on my coffee machine i would imagine that's quite a common fault on these um it's not the seals below it's going to be the joints here i hope that video helps and obviously the the reassembly is the reverse of of the um of the disassembly process